to a new video. You have me in the passenger seat today because I am the one racing. I'm driving. I never drive. Today I'm running the Reading Half, chasing a PB. My current PB is 1.16.30 from our Silverstone Half Marathon video, virtual Silverstone Half. You can put a link somewhere in one of the corners. It was over a year ago now, but the weather was horrendous. It was a virtual a marathon so we did it around a reservoir but the wind was horrendous so i'm feeling like it's on today yeah, we'll see. the weather today blue sky sun out but it's it's still it's calm there's low wind it's a really good day to run to be honest it's probably a little on the cold side but it's i mean it's a glorious day it's currently minus three so yeah. the only thing <laughs> you'll have to battle with is the cold but it doesn't start till quarter past ten the time is currently about eight o'clock so Hopefully it warms up a little for you. Yeah, never done the Reading Half. So the plan is you'll stick with me. I'm dressed in running kit, but I'm spectating. So I'm going to be jogging from mile point to mile point trying to catch Ben. So minute per mile pace is 5.45. Or 3.35 minute Ks, which is absolutely moving. So I'm yeah. going to be like trying to dot between in the middle of the course. Yeah. I'm going to try and dot between to try and catch him at two or three points. So that's why I'm in my trainers. It's a good day, it's good conditions. You yeah. fueled up last night. I had a couple of helpings of risotto last night, and then I had two two bagels and jam. Mm. The pork. You need to fuel. We're going off here, we're going off here. Blimey, can you imagine if we get, don't get there? I don't know the way. I know, I know. I had some bagels just to support, you know, the carb load process. Absolutely. You're gonna stick with me, so um, we'll wish Ben the best of luck, but it's on. I've got a good feeling. Boom. 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 Warm up, a few minutes to go on the warm up, but yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I haven't worn these shoes for like six months, so it's a bit of a trial, but then again, the pen about five, get this down me, and then we're ready to go. Let's do it. I'll see you at my one, yeah? Thank you. Five minutes till Ben starts, and I have left him in his starting pen warming up. I am marching my way to mile one and he should be there hopefully 20 past, 21 minutes past 10. So I'm gonna start my watch at quarter past 10 when he crosses the line. There's no tracking. So I'm going off these paces on my hand. I'm hopefully gonna catch him at mile one, mile six, mile eight and the finish, but it does require a bit of jogging from me with this massive backpack on full of his clothes but about four minutes to go he'll start i'm heading to mile one and then uh i've only got an hour and a quarter <laughs> to try and spot him three or four times so we'll see how i do let's go come on ben Well done guys! Well done! 
Here he comes, here he comes. What up, Ben? What up, Ben? Looking good. Great start, well done. I'll see you at six. Just seen Ben at about 1.1, 1.2 mile marker. Morning. He's looking good, really, really calm, really smooth. I've now got 1.9 miles to jog and I need to get to the six mile mark by 10.49. The time is about 25 past, so I've got loads of time. I could walk, but I've got that nervous energy too that I just want to jog it out, so. The tightest ones will be from six miles to eight miles and obviously from eight back to the stadium where the finish is. But yeah, let's get going. Ten forty-eight. Ben told me to be here for ten forty-nine. I got so lost. Google Maps is not good when you're running, but we made it. I'm gonna get the drink out ready for him, a gel out ready for him. Hope he's looking good. This is the halfway mark, six miles, well, just under. So, yeah, come on, Ben. Well done, looking great, well done. Ben, don't panic if I'm not at mile eight. Well done, looking great. big hill. Two minutes away from mile eight. I think I'm gonna get him. I think I'm gonna catch him. I've literally got like 10 and a half, 11 minutes to cut across. I've got miles to do, Ben's got two. Let's do this. Here we go. I think I'm in time. Thank God. Oh, he'll have come up a big hill. Come on, Ben. I think I can see him in the distance. So this is why I'm in. He's looking good. This is a horrendous hill. I'm not going to say that to him, but it's steep and it's in the sun. I can see him. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. You got this, Ben. High knees, quick feet, yeah? You got this. Well done. Come on, Mark, push now. Time to go. Looking great. You've got this. I actually think he looked quite good there. I think he looked better there than he did at mile six, so that's great. I think he may have crossed the line one or two minutes after 10.15, just judging on where the timing car's coming. So I think he's on pace. I think he looks strong. That was a f awful hill, but I think he's, He's gonna go, he's gonna do it. It's a downhill to the finish now. I say that running uphill. I've got 2.5 miles to run downhill along a, a dual carriageway down to the finish. Gonna try and get into the Medeski to get him crossing that line. Come on, Ben. Offloaded a few layers. It's getting hot. Feel much better now. It is 12 minutes past 11. If running to time, Ben should be done at half past bang on. But if they're a minute or two behind, I've got until about 11.32, hopefully. I've got 1.6 miles to run. Slightly downhill, which is nice. In about 20 minutes. So I'm hopeful. Come on. It's quite stressful, this spectating lot. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, if anyone's ever spectated me in the past, thank you. It's a stress in itself, but all good. Come on, Ben. Also, that drink that Ben chucked away at six miles, I've benefited. I picked that up to save littering, and that drink has gone down well with me. Oh, look. Okay, that's 58 minutes. 
Oh, they started one minute late because it's bang on 11.14. That says, oh no, that would be right. Okay, so they started bang on 11.15, uh, 10.15, but Ben's a bit behind in the yellow wave. I don't know what time he crossed the line at, but shit, he might overtake me then. Ooh. Just to clarify, sorry, that timing clock has gone 59 minutes and it's 11.15, so it obviously started one minute late. So I think the race started at 10.16 and I also think Ben might have been a minute back or two, so that's good to know, sorry. Maths when running is not good. Maths at all is not good for me. Right, come on, Ben. That guy's got like a mile to go and he's on like 59 minutes, that's insane. Great running, well done. I'm going five minute miles. I mean, five minute gigs, Christ. If only I could go a five minute mile. I'm going eight minute miles, five minute gigs. But it's a beautiful downhill. Quite funny being really, overtaken by all the elite then. They are absolutely moving. Quite incredible, really. And the two points I saw Ben, like, I mean, I couldn't catch up to him. It's ridiculous. It's like my sprint flat out pace. got 1.15.24 which is like a one minute six second PB I think but to be honest I couldn't really understand him I think he's got a one minute six second PB if he has he has absolutely smashed that but as soon as I said you did it you did it <laughs> as soon as I was like you did it he was like no I think maybe that was just tiredness though I might cut all these clips if I've got this wrong. Now that says a huge PB, but here he comes. So we'll let, we'll let him clarify because I'm so confused. One fifteen twenty four. A one minute, six, six second PB. One PBA. minute, six second PB. You happy? Really happy. Yeah, it was, it was paced really nicely. A really even split, but. I probably pushed for home about half a mile too early. So probably from about 12 and a half miles to 13, you suffered, did, I suffered you, you massively. You so strong. Yeah, I had, a, I had a bit of a sprint finish in me. You look better at mile eight than mile six, I thought. Really? That hill was, I tell you, if anyone says Reading is a flat course, they are lying to you. That is a hilly course, but. 1.15. What was it? 115.24. Well done. So, uh, little over half a marathon distance. 543. You must be absolutely buzzing. Yeah, happy with that. 543 minute miles. 543. High five. Just done a two mile cool down jog for both of us. As you do, as you do, after you've been heavily spectating. I've done like nine miles. Ben's done 17. A joke. And look where we are now. Oh, that is the one. Las Iguanas. Post run. 
food of champions. We're gonna get a bottomless brunch. <laughs> Ben's gonna be absolutely sad. I'm gonna be steaming. I'm gonna have one beer and like just lose it. Mexican food. Mexican Spanish vibe, I think. I think so. Let's go in because I need a wing. Let's go in. Let's get food. You smashed it, well done. Shattered. So tired. Good day. Came home with a PB. And good food. Good food, good drink. I think I think the alcohol's done us in. I mean you did nine miles. <laughs> Just spectating. I, I Might jogged. as well have run the blooming half marathon. I know, only four more miles. I jogged slash walked about nine not at least nine miles, maybe ten. Yeah. My pacing, I mean, it was a bit all over the place, to be honest, because the course was a little hilly. So I'd say my quickest one, my quickest mile in the middle was around a 5.28 downhill. And then the slowest was probably a 6.02. Averaged at a 5.43 half marathon, which came in at a 1.15.24. Successful day. So yeah, rest of the day, we're just going to chill, have a cup of tea, eat food. And probably go to sleep. Yeah. Because we are flagging. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this Reading Half Marathon video. Our next one will probably be in Boston. We've got Boston Marathon coming up in a couple of weeks. So look out for that one. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you're keeping well. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. Let's go. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Yeah. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. See him. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Right. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, ben. Come on, ben.